Another day on the van build. Alan's just doing some cleaning. Hey, Alan, how's hey, it going? Uh, Alan, no, careful! The waterproof electric connection! Fine. <laughs> Hello van building punters and welcome. This series has been going on for a whole load of episodes now. Catch up up there. Alan and Will are just tidying up this back section. So the idea is wheels are gonna be mounted up there and then over here, just loads of storage stuff. This is just plywood, just finished expertly. So just putting on this kind of shelf right here and then this piece down here is gonna cover up the new plumbing that's been put in ready for the sink. Amazing. The shelf is finished. Looking beautiful. Will's had a great job. And they found this perfect aluminium edging just lying around. It was already cut to size, which was a massive win. So much has been happening. The puzzle for today is figuring out how to get the front wheels in. Lots of comments. People are like, where are the front wheels going? Where are the front Now is the day I'm gonna tell you. We want them on a pipe on here. When you have this door shut, hopefully you've got a bit more security of the bikes being off to the side. We've got to figure out how to do it. What are you thinking, Brad? We've Not got a lot the... of space. I think there's going to be just enough. You always think there's going to be just enough. And Somehow we make it work. And every time it's been just enough. I mean, I didn't want to say I have a perfect record here, but I have a perfect record. Let's, let's put it in, we gotta see if this tire is gonna hit the... Just hold the tip. I'm just gonna need you to keep it straight. Bam. Oh, look at that. Obviously perfect. That's the issue right there. So we don't have to hold it up. Close that door, cars. and let's see. Yeah. It won't, it won't... Oh, it will so. show. <laughs> what did I tell you guys? This is insane. Yeah. This puts a hole through the ABS, man. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. I'm just not gonna put a hole. Just don't slam it. Just, yeah, just close it carefully. That, that thing was on the edge. Was yeah. Crazy. And then more over to the left. Oh, yeah. Not there too we, much. That's it. Gentle. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. <laughs> oh, baby. You wanna just put the camera in there, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think it's it doesn't fine. touch. It's literally like two mil every day. Absolute perfection here at Van Gogh. <laughs> <laughs> that's luck. That's that's all. That. I mean, we did measure it. Like that's we've got to remember that. I'm gonna take a smidge off it and I'll thread it down about three quarters. How's it looking, my friend? We're getting there. Ooh. Friends are cut, just gotta file the top. I sheared it off by accident, so I had to restart. Too much power. No, I was just, I was yeah. trying to do too, too much, much power in those arms. <laughs> Look at these things. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely going in. <laughs> it will be pretty close to where it was because I sheared about that much off. I mean, we can try oh. it like that. We'll just have a good look. When look you use two wheels, what you gonna do? Make. A little pipe that's the length of one axle and it'll be like a dummy dummy axle. Okay. I think that's the best solution. That's a good call. I'm pretty freaking that's smart. Actually, <laughs> just, just imagine you're at home all day with your camera like, I am the best. <laughs> this yeah, that's what this channel is built on. <laughs> no. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. No. Alan's wrong. You got it? Okay, go real slow. Yep. At the back, so. Okay, what are you prepping now, Brad? Double insulated shrink tube just to protect the hub axle. It's about a simple solution by a simple man. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, Brad needs it at all times. 
And now for the piece of resistance. Should I just go for it? Yeah, it's full sound. Done. Bam. Oh, full sound. <laughs> I trust you. Skin. Shake test. No, we have to drive it. <laughs> There's no. Oh, button. nice. There. Well, we can still. There we go. Them. That's important. That's cool. Now, if you thought the sliding door was gonna be the most boring part of this build, think again. Alan, you've been doing some incredible things with this door. I've been trying. Take us through the problems and the solutions and the things that you've ended up with. There weren't so much problems, but yeah, we don't like to leave anything unfinished. So we wanted to do wood for mica. You know, finishing this, we didn't want to leave it just a metal shell like we see a lot. We need a trim to go in here and come over our laminated wood. We have a solution. Oh, baby. I'll just whip this together. <laughs> when you say whipped it together, yeah. do you actually mean you've been working on it for four days? hours. <laughs> so yeah, it's all tapered to match your wood. We got the groove out, so the ply and laminate are gonna sit right in there. It's gonna lock it all in. So this is maple finished with a Danish oil with a, so it brings out some of this cool tiger striping. How did you get this groove this in notch here? It was real hard. Well, how did you <laughs> well, do it? I kind of ran it through the table saw for the long pieces, like like this, running it through like that. Oh, but wow. But then the hard part is on this side, it actually swooped, so that was mostly done by hand chisel. Oh, and wow. And just hogging it out as much as I could. So, yeah, this is something I just sort of wanted to do, so I just did it. Yeah, we're gonna set it in, PL around, and then spray foam to fill this in, which will insulate it as well. The PL is really just so spray foam doesn't get under and pop back up. And then just slide in the, the two panels. Yeah, you'll see, yeah, it'll slide in. And then what are these holes for? Oh, those are gonna be the push clips, so these are all drilled out, primed, so also those can be removed if you ever need to. Well, oh, that went in no problem at all. We didn't have any panics whatsoever. Height is right. When you call me for help, things are really going well. <laughs> <laughs> things aren't going to plan. Pretty steezy. Yeah. And for the edges, we're gonna protect them with this big heavy U-channel. Getting removed. It's holding. Checking everything before we just go wild here, boys. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Sound damped. Am I right? Check it out. Look at that. It's almost like we planned it and measured four thousand times. <laughs> Brad, it's so tight. That was the plan. It's perfect. <laughs> we are one thing away from finishing this van. One thing. Time to make the storage box, cabinet, chest, treasure chest. Step one. Let's look at Paul's drawings. If anyone out there is looking for professional drawings to be made, I am available for hire. This was my vision, so really easy to see. We've got some wheels here, room for a bike stand in the back. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing for? Yeah. This is how it works at Van Gogh. Did you draw this? And we're gonna make that. <laughs> so, yeah, right, Alan did a real job. More things I can actually understand. Because down the road you may need access to your electrical. This is gonna be essentially its own box. It's this high attached to the slides. The cabinet will be mounted on top of that, and the whole thing is removable. Step one: put some plywood underneath the drawers. I should move this slightly so that the screws aren't hitting each other. It's gonna bug me if they're not even. But you just said that why they can't be even. No, oh, maybe I'll go, I'll just get lucky. And go through different holes. Step one, finished. We have slides. We yeah. have slides. Now, step two. I'm basically just gonna cut the sides, put them in, put a top on, 
Done. Done. What size wood is that? Three quarter. Yeah, so this will essentially be its own box with a bottom. It'll help strengthen the walls. And the back, and you'll, you can slide whatever you want in there. these stiffeners then the top this will get bolted to that and then we'll build the cabinet on top will it work I don't know <laughs> which includes the height I want, which is a quarter inch, and we just line it up there. And as long as we're in the middle, we know we'll be good. That's why you do the front one first, is a vertical slot, so you can still adjust it. Once we get the other ones in, then we'll tighten that one back up. I'm always curious. That's pretty close to all my, look at my toes are barely on. I'm scared to put all my weight. I'm going to mark and countersink some holes. I'm gonna poly just a quick coat of this first. We got a platform to build the, Having a tree or a dresser or whatever we're calling it. And that's the final screw. The screw of resistance. So here is the bike stand storage slot. Alan is about to put in the middle shelf. Yeah. The cupboard is made. The bike stand cometh. This is the moment of truth. Boop, boop. Oh, oh! Oh, that's so cool! Beautiful! Wait, Just and then there's wheels. Boom and boom. Beautiful. You can put and other just, stuff in there. I'll just yeah. shove other stuff in between to stop them rolling around. Yes, Alan! It's starting to look like that picture you drew. That picture. <laughs> Exactly, exactly as I drew. <laughs> and now it's basically it. It actually is. Yeah. And then I'm gonna cut the doors separate, put the face on, I'll trace them so they'll be inside. Yes. Here we go. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Oh, baby. Oh, look at all that perfection. Yes. <laughs> oh, <ew>, gross. <laughs> Big moment going down. We've been waiting for this. The big moment that's going down is that everything is getting sealed up in here. So the water has been doing up, and then the electrics finally getting it boxed in. Why don't you just pop it in? Pop it in here. This is a terminal fuse. It's there to protect your batteries in case there's a surge. Off the alternator while you're driving. The cell blows to the other. Yeah, lots of stuff. The final fuse is... Yes. Cool. Is that it? That's it. Yeah, let's go test everything, make sure we're all functional before we close everything up. Are you a bit emotional saying goodbye to this work of art? I'm stoked that it's done. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes. Oh, flip that switch. Yes, that's everything on. Oh, okay, so those lights work. Whoa! Whoa. That's the first time we've seen the little happy faces. Come on. There we go. All the lights are working. The Wi Fi. Wi Fi's a go. Yeah. Sea levels go. It's like Thunderbirds. You've worked incredibly hard on this electrical system, so I'm going to give you. The very special honor <laughs> of peeling off that bit of plastic film. Oh my god. Really, Paul? Yeah, you are a lucky me. guy. For me. I know this is a big one for you. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, there it is. How good is that? <laughs> it was good. Are you doing this one? <laughs> oh, yeah. I see, obviously, Alan, you didn't give me the good Alan one. Alan thinks he's doing this. That's not the case. No. Oh, wow. 
the big moment. Yeah. Oh, oh, Brad's getting involved now. I did that. That wasn't Brad. <laughs> Brad seemed to finish it off. We are late into the night here, but Alan has finished the drawers for the amazing storage bin sliding tray compartment all time mega thing. We are in the final hours. What Alan is about to do, cut some space here for a hinge so these doors flap up and down, obviously clamped it. It just has to do that, and then for Micah this, and then we're done. So this is amazing, because <laughs> this is building the van, but this is being powered by the van. <laughs> That's it. The van is finished. There's still a couple of details left to show you, but of course, I'm gonna do a full van tour video. Now, to make sure you don't miss that, hit subscribe up here, and if this is somehow the first video you're watching, check out the whole playlist down here. And if you wanna see some more information on Van Gogh conversions, hit the link in the description below. Cheers, van building punters. See you in a couple of weeks. <laughs>